Hi everyone, in this video we will make a multiplayer game. For this we will use Mirror Networking. So let's open the Mirror website and click the download. It's from Asset Store. So I'm importing it. After this we will add Parallel Sync plugin. So let's open the website. ParallelSync is a unit editor extension that allows users to test multiplayer game without building the project by having another unit editor. So that means we don't have to build every time this project as you can see here. So I will download it from here. I'm importing it. As you can see there is a ParallelSync tab. In here we can clone our project. And the path of the project and I'm opening it I will minimize it okay we are ready now I'm going back to the mirror website okay in this website we will follow the documentation okay click here and click here okay we will follow these steps we already added in part 2 create new scene save it and add it to the build settings okay let's do it this is a sample scene so I add it here after that, create a new game object, name it Network Manager in the scene, and add these three components Network Manager, Telephatic Transport, and Network Manager Hub. Okay, let's add it. I'm creating an empty object. Let's go back to the website. So on the network manager component, drag your offline and online scene into the slots. We have only one scene for now. Okay, let's add it. Open the scene folder. In here, I'm dragging my scene. Okay, it's done. So, okay, in the next step, add a simple plane. Okay, let's add it. Next, we add a game object, name doesn't matter. Add network start position component to this game object. Okay, so I'm creating an empty game object. I'm adding a material. I will change plane color. So, okay. Pound point. I'm adding network start position and I'm duplicating it. So, I think it's enough. The next step is creating the player. Okay, I'm creating a capsule. Okay, attach a network transform component. Network transform. So I'm at it. And take client authority on the network transform. So it's here. After that, rename that object player. I renamed it. After that, and an empty player script player script and drag into project to create a prefab I'm dragging it so it's prefab now I'm deleting it so drag your player prefab into network manager I'm dragging to here make it from robin okay after that add the following to your player script i'm copying it my script is here okay then paste it so i'm clear that part so let's test it as you can see our player can move let's check with the second project okay i'm opening my second project so there is a sample scene Okay, let's see what happens I'm opening first project and clicking host and I'm opening the second project and clicking the client so as you can see there's a two player yeah it's simple that way and I can see both player it's so easy isn't it Okay, if you follow these steps, you can make a good multiplayer games. So, that's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.